Hello everybody. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Let's take a walk and go see what's in the fridge today. Everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Thanks a bunch for stopping by. I do appreciate today's beer comes from Abomination Brewing Company. This is their Love Letters from Hell. <laughs> All right, guys. These good. This brewery, Abomination's out of Pennsylvania. Let's see if we can get a little more detailed information. Uh, milkshake style triple IPA. Put your big boy britches on uh, with candy hearts, sprinkles, marshmallows, milk sugar, vanilla beans, strawberry, ice cream, and artificial colors. Yum, yum. <laughs> Everything except for the artificial colors. We could do without that. I mean, what? Come on. Just leave it, whatever. It must, have, it must have been a crappy color for them to have to change that. Uh, store cold and drink fresh. Okay, now if you want me to drink it fresh, you have to put a date on so I'll know if it's fresh or not. Is it got one? And looks like we have a five-digit Julian code. Again, first two numbers, two, three. Last year's beer. And next three numbers, three, five, three. 353rd day of 2023. So that was right at the end there in December. 353, 365, 12. That's right before Christmas. So, yes, fairly fresh. Fairly. Uh, and it says here, brewed packaged by Abomination Brewing in North Haven, Connecticut. So, a Connecticut beer is distributed by 12%. So, they are huge distributors, 12%. Uh, they do a lot of brewery's beers. Label artwork, Sam Heimer. So good job, Sam. Got the skulls and spikes and teddy bears and all kinds of things in here. So, yes. A little, a, a little bit bigger on the ABV than what my typical go-to's are, being 9.6%, but, you know, that's what it is, our guys. Run the gamut. And the commercial description here on Untapped is exactly what I just read off of about the candy hearts and the sprinkles and ice cream. And the pictures here, it looks very milkshake esque if you will. So, let's get it in the glass and see what it looks like, what it smells like, what it tastes like. Very, very hazy coming out. Alright, slowly swirl. There you go. And that's it. Perfect pour. Look at that. Look at that, I say. Two fingers of head. Very nice. Super chunky looking in the glass. I mean, that is this milkshakey. Milkshakey. That looks good. That looks awesome, guys. I hope it's not too boozy. To, <clears throat> to the nose we go. Ooh, Whew. that was off the top as far as the aroma. Wow, that's just this. That's like putting your nose on a, your mouth in a starburst. <laughs> Explosion of flavors and aroma. Well, that's. I mean, it's got everything in it. It's got absolutely everything in it. All the flavor. It's got, I'm smelling everything. I'm smelling, I'm smelling peaches and pineapples and grapefruits and oranges and mangoes and apricots and, oh wow, and nectarines and grapes and melons and, I mean, I'm smelling every, everything known to, every fruit known to man. Wow. That's all the chart aroma. 
That's about the, that's a, the best smelling beer of 2024 so far. That is the absolute 11 on a scale of 10 as far as aroma. Best smelling beer of the year so far. Alright guys, it's time. Let's dive in. Cheers. Wow. Wow. That's my cup of tea right there, guys. I have, my taste buds have evolved to where this is the perfect style. Now, the ABV, not so much, but milkshake style IPA, double IPAs. Super easy to drink, not bitter, smooth. Nice but milkshake gives it a little thicker mouthfeel body. Creamy. more like a dessert beer and since I can only have one or two a day they are they're dessert <laughs> well I like that I like that a lot guys that is definitely the perfect final beer of the evening which it is for me wow delicious absolutely delicious Very impressive. Very impressive. I may go against the grade on that one, guys. Uh, and I've told you on all of them so far, this beer was not a cheap beer to buy. This beer was $8.69. Almost nine bucks for this kind of beer. <laughs> nine bucks for one kind of beer. I believe you can buy a six pack of the macro crap for that. When it's on sale anyway, especially if you're buying a 30 pack or, or however they produce that crap. Alright guys, I'm going to go sip on this one. I like it. Alright guys, I'm back. Look at that outstanding lacing from the very top of the glass all the way down there. And all the way around. So, guys, this is, this is what I would personally like to drink. Uh, not necessarily this much alcohol, even though it's not boozy, but 9.6%. I mean, it's there whether you taste it or not. So, Wow. I like this, guys. I mean, I'm going to go against the grade a little bit. And uh, if it had been packaged a little bit better and had a a date on it other than a damn Julian code because some people don't may not know what that is or be able to decipher that but with that being said this is this is a world-class beer to me guys and it's you know, it is what it is so uh, this is probably something a few years ago it wouldn't have been world-class to me but it is now that's where my palate is final show Oh yes, I enjoyed that guys. I mean, to me this is a 10 beer and a 9 can because of the Julian code. I would have gave it a 10 if it had a regular date on it. But that's just me. That's just, that's just me. That's where I'm going to leave that. Uh, over to Bear Advocate, they have no score. Two new. And over to Untapped, they have 1,800 people. Over 1,800 people have commented on the beer. And it's at 4.09. So, I'm giving it a better grade than both of those. Since we have no grade on the other one. But, eh, Abomination Brewing, I've done, I'm pretty sure I've done their beers before. The graphics are killer on this uh, label, the artwork. And the beer is pretty tasty. I didn't realize it was a milkshake. I didn't read the can uh, when I bought it. I just looked at it. The artwork is good. It was a double IPA and it looked at the ABV and I threw that's a little heavy, but and I flipped it over and it did have a date. Even though it was a Julian code, I said, what the hell? Love letters from hell. What the hell? Let's find out. So, guys, I liked it. I guess you found that out already. So if you've had Bub Letters from Hell from Abomination Brewing, let me know what you think. Is it tasty? Is it not? 
Am I just a senile old man? Probably. <laughs> Till we meet again, let's go see what's in the fridge. Yeah.